good day. So yung topic naman natin ngayon ay semi-circular functions. This is an extension of the square root function. But instead of looking at half parabolas, we'll be looking at semi-circles. So yung gusto natin matunan ngayon ay una, ma-define yung semi-circle function and we'll describe the behavior. And of course, forever na to, yung domain and range ng isang semi-circular function. So, let's review the circle equation muna. Kasi kung magsisemi-circle tayo, manggagaling tayo sa isang circle equation. Yung circle equation natin, for a circle that is centered at hk, na may radius na r, so yung distance na ito, this will be given by x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Babalik tayo dito sa distance formula. Kung bakit natin nakuha ito. So, it's a first quarter topic. But gusto natin functions, so gusto natin siyang maisulat na f of x equals or maybe y equals. So let's make that derivation. So we start with the circle equation, then we subtract the quantity x minus h squared from both sides. Then we take the square root of both sides and we will not forget no, na dapat plus or minus to. So at this point, hindi pa rin to function. It's still the same equation. And then finally, we'll add k to both sides. So we have isolated y. And this is equal to plus minus the square root of r squared minus the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Ngayon, para maging function siya, pipiliin natin isa lang sa dalawa. Kasi ang implication nito, for a single x value, pwede tayong may dalawang values, eh, isang positive, isang negative. So magpa-fail siya ng vertical line test. Kasi di ba dapat sa function, ang isang x value, meron lang isang y value na binibigay. In this case, dalawa. So pipili tayo kung gusto ba natin yung positive or negative. So that, the result will be a function. So let's split it in two. Yung una, yung positive, yung principal square root, and then yung negative. What would the graph of this function look like? Well, it's the graph of a circle. Eh. Tapos, in-isolate lang natin yung y. And then, we are choosing yung positive na part. So, kung... Sabihin natin 0 yung k, makukuha natin lahat ng positive na points. So, pag nilagay mo yung k, in this case, negative, tatanaslate lang pababa. If we take the principal square root, we are getting the upper semi-circle, yung upper half ng circle natin. Na ganun pa din yung radius at ganun pa din yung center. The center is still at hk, the radius is still r. And if we choose yung negative na square root naman, then we will get the lower half of our circle or the lower semicircle. And that's it. That's all there is to the semicircle function. No, function na siya. So, essentially, ginawa natin, pinutol lang natin siya sa gitna para pumasa siya ng vertical line test para maging function na siya. So, tignan natin yung kanyang domain and range. Start tayo dito. So makita natin siguro from the graph that yung domain natin ay all the x values from this point papuntang this point. Wala na tayong possible na x values dito. Wala rin tayong x values dito. Undefined na yung function natin. So how do we express this interval mula dito hanggang dito? Well, alam natin yung radius. It's hk. So this must be the h value. And then aatras tayo ng length ng radius para makuha yung starting point ng interval. So, h minus r. And magmove tayo to the right ng r units. So, to get here, this is h plus r. Ang domain natin ay the close interval, h minus r, papuntang h plus r. Now, our range will be from the center papunta dito sa pinakamataas na point nung circle natin. But this distance is also the radius. So that would be the interval from k papuntang k plus r. This is a closed interval kasi itong point na to, this is, meron siyang value at y equals k. So kasama siya dun sa interval nung range. Now, we expect that the domain here will be the same kasi from here to here din naman, yung magbabago lang yung range. So imbis na from k papuntang k plus r, it will be from, syempre, lowest papataas. It will be from this point, which should be k minus the radius, all the way hanggang k. So our range is the close interval k minus r to k. Note na ito, pwede natin itong isulat na 
x is greater than or equal to h minus r, but is less than or equal to h plus r, dito naman, y is greater than or equal to k minus r, but is less than or equal to k. So let's look, take a look at this example. Find the center and radius of the semicircle function f sub 1 of x equals square root of negative x squared minus 4x plus 12, plus may plus 7 sa labas. So syempre hindi siya nakasulat dun sa r squared minus quantity x minus h squared para may counting effort naman on our side. But it's not really that big of an effort. So let's try solving this. What we could do is, well, this is the, this is the given. Then, yung 12, ilipat natin sa unahan. So, we'll rearrange. And then, we will factor out the negative sign. So, instead of minus x squared minus 4x, factoring it out, we have minus the quantity x squared plus 4x. Now, we'll complete the square dito sa expression na to. At yung pang-complete natin, we'll take 4 divided by 2, which is 2, then we square it. We add 4 sa loob ng parenthesis. But adding 4 sa loob ng parenthesis na may negative, na multiplier sa labas, what we're actually doing is we're subtracting 4. Or we're adding negative 4. So, dapat walang mangyayari dun sa expression natin. If we're adding something, we have to be subtracting something. Or if we're adding a negative value, we have to add the positive of that negative value para mag add up sila to 0. Walang effect dun sa expression. Kung baga, gumaganda lang yung form, but the values do not change. So, we add Negative 4, essentially, kasi may negative dito. So, we have to add positive 4 for a net of adding 0. Combining yung 4 sa 12, we have 16. We have square root of 16 minus the quantity x squared plus 4x plus 4. Tapos sa labas square root may plus 7. And expressing this as r squared minus the quantity x minus h squared. We have 4 squared minus the quantity x plus 2 squared. Tapos may plus 7. So, sa ganitong form, alam na natin yung tatlong bagay. Yung x-coordinate ng center, y-coordinate ng center, and yung radius. So, the center is at negative 2, 7, and the radius is 4. And that's it for this problem. Okay, next example. We want to find the domain and range of f sub 2 of x equals 4 minus the square root of negative x squared plus 6x minus 4. This is our solution. So, I just copied the given. Yung 4 nilagay ko dun sa dulo kasi yan yung k natin. And we observe na negative yung square root na, na term. So this would be the lower semi-circle. I'm grouping the terms na my x. So I could write this as negative 4 minus, I factored out yung negative sign, minus the quantity x squared minus 6x. I will proceed to complete the square dito sa mga x na to. So negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3 squared 9. I have to add 9 dun sa loob ng parenthesis. But the entire group is negated sa harap. So, essentially, I am adding negative 9 sa buong radikan. So, I have to add positive 9 para net na 0 yung ina-add natin sa radikan. So, let's group 9 and negative 4. That will give us 5. Yung x squared minus 6x plus 9, it will factor to x minus 3 quantity squared. And we have this expression f sub 2 of x is equal to negative of the square root of 5 minus the quantity x minus 3 squared plus 4. And from this form, we could see now, no, uh, the center is at 3, 4, at yung radius natin ay square root of 5. And again, since negative to, we are looking at the lower semicircle or the lower half of the circle. Let's determine the domain and range. So, yung center natin ay 3, 4, ang radius natin square to 5. So, it, it's the lower semicircle. So, from the center, hk, move tayo to the left ng square to 5. So, it's 3 minus square to 5. Hanggang, move them from the center, move tayo to the right ng square to 5. Hanggang 3 plus square to 5. So, that's our domain. We could write that na x is in the closed interval, 3 minus square to 5. So, 3 plus square to 5. Pwede rin natin isulat na x is greater than or equal to 3 minus square root of 5, but is less than or equal to 3 plus square root of 5. Now to the range. Again, refer tayo sa center. Yung y-coordinate natin ay 4. So, it's from 4 pababa ng square root of 5. So, 4 minus square root of 5. So, we would write our interval as y, or f sub 2 of x, is in the close interval 4 minus square root of 5 all the way to 4 inclusive. Pwede rin natin yung isulat na f of x is greater than or equal to 
4 minus square root of 5, but is less than or equal to 4. And that's it for this lesson. So, yung semicircle function, dinarive natin siya sa circle equation by isolating the y variable. And then choosing either the upper or the lower half of the circle. So, that's it for this week. Goodbye and thank you, and I hope to see you sa next lesson natin.